So yeah, tonight I'm gonna check out something that was recommended to me. So, much like Zelda 2 had a fan remake, uh, the same has been done for the original Castlevania. So, all I know of it is that it's been restructured in a way where it uh, plays more like, I guess, the style that uh, the game's Eager made. So, it's more like s symphony, map crawling, that sort of thing. But, uh, since, you know, the Zelda 2 fan game that Hoverbat made was really good, I've also heard equally good things about this, so I figured it's worth checking out. Yeah, I'm gonna go with normal, given the original Castlevania, um... You know, the last boss will- oh wow, that looks really cool. Um, the last boss of this game is, is certainly something. Alright, so yeah. Upgraded visuals. What else have we got? Yeah, so, you know, it's not a stage-based game anymore. Interesting. You know, the stages should be familiar. I'm not exactly the, the greatest. Whoa, okay. I want to press sub weapon and it's got this. All right, hang on. That's the button for weapon, got it. Interesting. All right, well. Yeah, it's different. Wait, does it have this would imply that it has... Hang on. Maybe it's an upgrade, but that would imply that it has a slide ability. Which never was in the original. I mean, the stairs are more... They're not like the classic one where it's slow. I've played more of the modern Castlevania games than the classic ones, but the classic ones were more my cousin's thing. And did enjoy watching them. Not that I haven't played them myself. But I certainly haven't played as many. That's just knowledge from the original game. Interesting. So yeah, I mean, there'll be areas I won't be able to do. I stick with old reliable. I wonder if water is still death in this one. Okay, so that's not that. I'm not quite sure how to break that. Anyway. It's pretty cool so far. This Castlevania. This is a fan game. It's Castlevania revamped. So much like Zelda 2 had that fan remake that modernized it, um, the same has been done for Castlevania. So it plays more like um, the later ones, which are Metroid style, you know? Eagervania, Metroidvania, whatever you want to call it. So this was recommended to me. Pretty cool so far. The other thing, it doesn't have the stiff jumping. So I do have control in the air. <laughs> Warping costs money. Okay, I suppose you gotta have a use for some money. So we'll see how we'll see how this goes. I'm not gonna do it in one sitting, um, just because I know this game does take a while. But we'll do a bit of it just to open up tonight. So far, a lot of fun. Hmm. Not 
sure how to get that. Anyway. Oh. This is being upgraded. This is not like how it was originally. Okay, this thing is a lot quicker. I, I kind of dig it, but I'm going to lose. It's... <laughs> Whoa. Again, terrible clock cast <laughs> classic Castlevania. I can't tell when it's gonna come back down. Oh, 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 that, no! Oh, damn it. Wait, I lo oh, is this like... Interesting, I lost money. Is this gonna have like a souls element to it? Where money is lost and you have to go reclaim it? Well, you know, Axe is probably the better choice for this boss. But that was pretty cool that I blocked the fire like that. Not hot. The thing is, I, I haven't worked out its tell. Good. Oh, this is not good. Hey, Sherry, how's it going? And I'm gonna lose again. It doesn't have directional whip. It's just in a straight line, but fair enough. But I'm curious what the other whips are gonna be. Crap. It's halving my money. Which... No. The thing is, hearts aren't health, it just lets me use... Um, the holy water more. Oh crap, I thought I had holy water again. Well. And I see it, I guess just damaging the fire gives me hearts. So I can do the same with the axe. Just not sure it's worth the trade off. Ugh. Fair. I just gotta get good. I'm also using an Xbox controller, so. Go, go, go! D pad's not exactly the thing that I like the most. Oh, I got greedy. <laughs> I was trying to. I was trying to. Having have an epic game a moment, like just get a bunch of hearts and then bin shit with the axe. Oh yeah, well. It probably didn't help that I took a hit before getting into the boss room. Okay, this is the one. I should be thankful there's no lives either, so, you know, 
Nice. Great position. <laughs> That's certainly a nice change. Damn it. it really didn't do that much, did it? Love that, um, that old effect on it. All right. So, I mean, it's going to have a lot of rooms that are unfamiliar. Oh, hello. Dynamic strike. Aim your whip in eight directions. Hold the direction and press it. Oh, Dude, that would have been useful, like, in the previous room. You kidding? This whip would have been awesome. All right, well. Yeah, so it has upgrades, which is neat. Again, just reimagining the game so it's more like the other ones that aren't arcade style. I guess that means, hang on. I can go get that health. So it still counts as a leather whip. It's not a different whip. We'll see how that goes later. But yeah, you, you can get this on PC. That's like just... You just look for Castlevania Revamp, you'll be able to find it. gonna have some things that I imagine people that are fans of like the original formula aren't gonna like like for example not having the classic style of jumping uh -oh. <laughs> I think that's all I can get for now I mean, I, I enjoy the fact that it doesn't have the very brittle, I don't know how else to describe it, stiff jumping. But if you're a purist, certainly this is probably not the title for you. We'll see what they've done with the Dracula fight, because, um, man... I only did that for myself for the first time a few years back. Because my cousin was the one that played these ones. I never really played them. Um, but I'd never finished the original Castlevania. And then when I did, the last boss fight is... Basically, it's just straight up unfair. It's like just one of those games that... You have to be extremely good at it or, like most people, resort to a cheese tactic. It just has an unreasonable amount of health to the point where, yeah, no shame. Just do the cheese tactic to win. So I'm curious if that's going to get rebalanced in this. Oh, wow. It's like these corridors. Okay, so this is how it's doing it. So what's the upper passageway? Yeah, that's gonna happen a lot. It's okay. 
does health upgrade, so eventually I'll get tanky enough that that'll be less of an occurrence. The important thing is there's no lives, so, so I can die as many times as I want. I won't be punished for progress. The thing that used to get me about these games is just the fact that hearts don't mean health. I never really liked that about these. It's just every time I see a heart, I'm like, oh, health. And then it's not. Jeez, he's better. Hmm. Already? Where does this go? Okay, well, I can't go here. Ugh. I suppose that's a downside of, like, these enemies moving a lot quicker. Wait, what if this is... hold on. Wait, what is this? Oh, oh, okay. Cards? Oh, okay. It looks like the menu can only be accessed from the main menu. Alright. I was gonna see if maybe it's a frame rate thing, like this is running too quickly. It could be something that requires V-Sync. I think it's just, that's just how they are. Get good. Wait, what? Oh, um, okay. But I don't have a slide ability. What have I missed? I've missed something. It, yeah, clearly requires another upgrade. Hey, Gami. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll have a look. Oh, there's another, okay. That's, that's what I missed. That's what I missed. What's the game? It's a fan remake of an old NES game. Apparently down here. There was a door to the left, which I didn't. I guess I didn't see. But in my defense, I kind of autopiloted because that's the way you go in the original game. Oh. No, okay, water's okay. It doesn't kill you. Thanks for the, uh, the Prime sub. Appreciate it. Yes, advertisements are evil. If it were up to me, I'd, I'd get rid of them entirely, but... All I can do is just leave pre-roll on so then it doesn't bother you after that. The alternative is to watch on YouTube. Which may or may not exist. <laughs>
what is that? Axe. I mean, in this game, the holy water was king, but... It might be harder because enemies move quicker. The reason holy water worked so well was that when it upgraded, it would stun. But I guess I can't follow that logic here. Wait, what is this? Grass? What is this? Hang on. I, I keep pressing the wrong button. Oh, it's heal. Okay, now we're going with heal. No, that's cool. It's a medicinal herb. This is cool. It kind of reminds me of, um... If you've ever seen the games that Inti creates do. Kind of feels like one of those. Hearts can actually heal you. Imagine that. <laughs> Hearts having some connection to health. Hmm. Probably another ability required. It's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that. That's going to be invaluable. So pretty safe to say that I'm probably going to get the slide ability off this. It, it is still weirding me out that the water doesn't kill you. Also, one thing that's really nice... You know when it's a weapon. Uh-oh. Yeah, okay, no, that's really nice. <laughs> this fight will give you swim. I mean, I probably shouldn't assume. Oh, that went around in a massive circle. Well done. go down. It's pretty balanced. It, it doesn't... It doesn't seem to be something I'll be able to use too often. Okay, save point. Yeah, I'm really liking this whole thing where fans are remaking old games that, for whatever reason, may not have been completely realized. Like, uh, whether, you know, they were a little bit flawed. They, they did the best they could given they were probably the first of their kind or the hardware that they released on. You can have up to three cards at once. Okay. Reminds you of TMNT on the NES. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it's the same uh, the development studio. But I mean, Castlevania is like just a staple franchise. Though it doesn't get much attention these days. Unfortunately, the company that owns the franchise um, would rather make gambling machines than video games. But yeah, they were responsible for quite a bunch of games on the NES. They did make the Ninja Turtles game. Which, by the way, I have a copy of that. And I got weirded out because, um... So, it, it was pretty common in Europe and Australia for there to be differences from American counterparts. Like, for example, um, Bomberman was called Dino Blaster in Europe and um, Australia. 
just as an example, and, you know, Contra was called Probotector, the same as it was in Japan. But get this, Ninja Turtles, this is like a... almost like a Mandela effect. <laughs> like... Ninja Turtles in Europe and Australia was like... Uh, I forget the title of it. But it wasn't Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, it was like super something... I'll have to find the cartridge. But you look at it and you're like, wait, what? Is this... is this real? Whoop. Oh, there we go, okay. Hang on. The... I have to find it. T-M-N-T, -T, pal. NES. It's so bizarre, and I never noticed it until I pulled the cartridge out one day. Yeah, Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles. That's what it was called. It was called Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles, for some reason. It just, it feels like it's a fake game. It's like, yeah, Mandela Effect. Or well, the game came from like an alternate universe. Down we go. I guess because it's just super subtle. But I, I thought I had a fake copy of the game. I was kind of upset <laughs> until I looked it up. It's just one of those weird things that I don't know why they had to change the name. It doesn't make any sense. Oh, this is annoying. There we go. Ooh, what is this? The Morning Star, an elongated chain whip that can break certain types of blocks. Alright. Oh, it's just an up. So I still don't have another whip. I wonder what this is going to be like, then. No, I mean, it's if you had a copy of the game, it would have been called Hero Turtles as well. Pretty much, yeah, it's just what it was called in Australia and Europe for some reason. It's just like how Star Fox was Star Wing. And, um, Star Fox 64 became Lilat Wars. That one makes sense, because it takes place in the Lilat system. I still haven't played that game. Well, I didn't have a Nintendo 64, like... That's what happens when you don't have a, a, that console. I had a Super Nintendo when the N64 was out, and then I had a PS1 when the PS2 and PS3 were out. The first console I owned that was of its time got on launch day, because I worked two jobs for it, was the Wii. Yeah. 
I was really behind on games in general. And you wanna- you wanna talk about my computer? Oh boy. I didn't even have PC gaming as like an alternative. The first modern game I could play was Modern Warfare, not, you know, the, orig the original original, OG one. That's when I got my own computer and it was capable of gaming. Before that, uh, that computer we had could barely run Word. So, yeah. I... Yeah, my comfort zone, <laughs> the NES, the Super Nintendo, and the Game Boy. That was all I knew for the longest amount of time. Oh, thank you for... Ah, damn it. If I look away for a sec, I take damage. Thanks for the prime, Laura. I'm still not used to the speed of this. Next save point, I'm gonna dip out to the menu. I'm just gonna check that this doesn't have, like, a V-Sync option, and it might be running too quickly. Dude. If you're not familiar with this game, or well, at least the original, enemies move at maybe a quarter of the speed they're moving now. But this is a fan remake, so it's not to say that it's not intended to move at this speed. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I got this now. This is cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just keep going. Yeah. <laughs> no, this is a cool slide. Um, it's not. It, it's a. Uh, Fan remake. So they've taken the original NES game and made it more like the games that came later, which are more exploration based as opposed to stage based. Yeah, the visuals kind of remind me of the stuff that Inti Create do, and I guess Shovel Knight. It's just retro visuals, but obviously they're modern. I thought this was Super Metroid. The two kind of became one later. Castlevania took on the Metroid-style exploration, so the genre is usually referred to as Metroidvania. Good! No, skillful. Or tactic to get back to the room I was sooner. Sorry, I got the item I wanted. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna get tired of that. It's definitely more than what the slides can do in the games usually. They're usually very short distance. I wonder if it's going to become a damaging slide later. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, what? <laughs> I 
no, I, ha I, ha I have to check these settings. Okay, there we go. Oh boy. Here we go. Medusa head room. What's that? Interesting. I suppose instead of pits, it spikes for instant death, so that makes sense. Honestly, surprised the Medusa heads haven't caused me more problems. <laughs> go, go, go. Ah, damn it, I was hoping for like a wall turkey. Oh boy. But can't I just do this? Nope! Bad choice! Alright, now. Ah, oh, I have to do the whole thing again. And this is why I am glad I have not commit to finishing this in one sitting. Good day today. I got a free pizza. I got my dinner given to me. This delivery driver gave me a whole family pizza and a garlic bread. They were uh, trying to make a delivery. The person didn't want it. And then they were like, Do you want the pizza? I'm a vegan. I can't take it. So I took the pizza. I got a free family pizza. It was great. That stuff happens to me all the time. Very nice, dude. Hey, Mr. Sam, what's up? Alright, there we go. And, to make things better, it was like... The pizza type that I enjoy, it's like, you know, the, uh... I mean, here most pizza places call it the Mexican. It just has pepperoni. And then, um... Some peppers on it. It's just spicy. It was good. Wait, why is that thing? Oh. See, they should just... I, you know, I can't complain about it. It's just how it's always been, but... It makes no sense. Hearts don't represent health, they represent ammo. And the thing that looks like a potion... Oh! Potion bottle represents... Ammo. Just, I don't know. Alright. Alright, Colorin. Yes, wall meets. Okay, I'm gonna be slow here. Just trying to go too quickly. I'm glad that. Kinda retains the risk of it. Just 
see, now I have to be on the lookout for... What? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's my free thing. Aside from that, I've been messing around with my RG Ally X a bit more. It's uh, quite a good piece of hardware. Okay. Save room? No save room. Ugh. It's still got the classic Castlevania difficulty. Again, disclaimer was never good at the classic version of these games. I just used to watch my cousin as a kid. I tried playing it a couple times when I was younger, and I just sucked at it. I think right now, more more than anything else, the thing that's messing me up is just in my mind, it's like, oh, this is classic, but then the speed of the game is, is quick. When it should be like a quarter of what it is. I'll adapt. The last time I got free food was maybe, I guess it's closer to nine months now, but last year. I ordered just some chicken, and then when the chicken turned up, they handed me the bag and it was the wrong bag, but the wrong bag had not only what I ordered, but then some... enough food for like four people, so... And obviously they had made a mistake, but I couldn't take it back or anything. It's gonna happen less and less. Today was just like... a random encounter. But I haven't really been using delivery stuff lately. One, because I've been trying to cook more. But two, dude, it's so ridiculously expensive. Like, it, it ain't worth it anymore. Not that it was that much to begin with, but... Now it's just, it costs so much, and then the majority of the time they'll do that thing where they're like, we're doing another order along the way. And when they say along the way, it's not really along the way. So it arrives like, either half warm or just pretty much cold. Gotta try the good to go app. I don't know if it's launched yet, but then again, I haven't really checked. Um, the pizza was good. I liked it. I mean, probably helped that it. it was free, but it was good. Not sure where it was from. I didn't recognize it. Yeah, ordering food is too expensive now. Like, I've been... Just making different things every week. Trying to... Expand what I can make. I made some broccoli soup recently and it was pretty good. And it's just with like a couple pieces, well, couple. I don't know what they call them. I, when I say piece, I mean like a whole, you know, units of broccoli. Two units of broccoli. And then just water and salt and it works super well. 
And that made like a few meals out of it. A head of broccoli? Uh, probably. I don't know. This is how little I know of buying broccoli. It's gotta be a- I guess it's gonna be a double jump. Okay. Excellent. Um, give me a sec. One minute. So there's a, a little bit of a downside, but what I want to do... It doesn't seem to have V-Sync. I just want to make sure it's not running extra fast. Window scale. Oh, that's cool. Wow, that's, that's pretty authentic. I mean... That's certainly how I remember stuff. Those kind of filters look less cheesy now when you're watching it on 4K. Okay, well, I guess we're in the clear. All right, what's it gonna be? Uh, who, what are you? Whoa, whoa, new enemy. That's cool. I've never seen this enemy. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, no, it's it's an item. Dude. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> despawn. Oh wait, never mind. Yeah, this is certainly harder than what I was expecting. Oh, it's Medusa. Yeah, the knife does basically nothing. <laughs> yeah. I like the sound effects, though. No! Oh! Dude, I am not doing much damage to her. Oh my- I messed up. <laughs> what am I supposed to do to that? It was like- Six snakes. <sighs> I say this every time I play a difficult NES game, but like... One of the things that I, I dislike <laughs> is when people default to Dark Souls as like a comparison for difficulty. Like a game is only difficult when it compares to Dark Souls. But then there's stuff like this where, dude, there were plenty of games from the 90s that I argue are harder than what Dark Souls is. As someone that has played stuff like Elden Ring and um, Demon Souls. Okay, well, that's it. Some of these games were often unfair. I may have to pull out the Super Nintendo controller. I'm using the Xbox controller right now. Um, I'm not a fan of the D-pad on that. It's just... I don't know. It's weird. But I did it so then when I play um, Like a Dragon later, I won't have to unplug! <laughs> Damn it. Ah! Ah! 
you know what? <sighs> the fact that I have to go through this room <laughs> to get to the boss, and it's going to like, it's, it's going to damage me at least a couple times. No, I, I appreciate that they're not holding back on this and making this... Because this is a reimagining of the game, right? So I appreciate they're not holding back anything. And just making this as hard as it would be if this was, like, an official thing! Oh, lucky. Oh, wow, lucky. Alright. Alright. Right, so that's my emergency... I have an emergency panic button if... Too many snakes are on the screen. Yeah, Castlevania's always had a cool setting. I've always enjoyed it. I'm doing so little to this. Ah, got too greedy. <laughs> you might be here a while. No. Okay, multi snack coming soon. They don't have enough hearts. Oh my god. God, dude. <laughs> Useless weapon. I, I didn't try using it earlier because I want. I knew it was going to cost a lot. I just didn't think it would cost that much. Oh my god. I love the part where I lose like half my health before I get to the hot the boss fight. It regenerates, that's the worst part about it. Like you have to keep hitting it, but by hitting it Oh my god. I don't think there's any point in me going into that boss room right now. Okay. <laughs> I need a better strategy for this. Dude. What a horrible room. I need my medicinal healing plant. God. Um, <laughs> I can't go into this fight with two health. Okay, I I need to get get through this room consistently without losing health. Out of curiosity, does sub weapon? Okay, well, that didn't do what I thought it would. So, actually, very useful for the fight. Not what I thought it would do. I thought it was like something that clears the screen. That's what it does in the original. It's like an item that drops, you pick it up. A uh, turkey! Grab it, go. Good enough. Take 
take the win. Okay. Yeah! Wow, that the for what that cost it does cool. All right, very underwhelming. For what that cost that did basically nothing. I need to swap sub weapons. This did not do nearly enough. Okay, get good. When it gets down to half health, that's when it's gonna get difficult. Okay, here we go. Danger time. Be ready. Stupid snakes. Cut through the rest of it. Feels like a Mega Man fight. Snakes. Okay, good. Dude, this fight is hard. Go. Snakes. Okay. Did it. Okay, we're good. Um, I feel like I should go save, no? Uh, I have to go through these things. No, I, I should save. Oh, oh, okay. That's good to know. I'll save it off for the way back. Okay. Everything is fine. It has been saved. I don't have to repeat the fight. No, ignore. This one, however. Wow. Okay, wait for it. Now. Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna get tired of this sliding. Oh cool, it's a remix of the song. Wait, where do I go? Oh, healing hub, sweet. All right, I'm keeping that. Uh... Is this like a mini boss situation? Okay, hang on, maybe I should. Find enough hearts. Okay, never mind. Okay. Uh. I guess I go to the right, but the right involved a high jump as well. I need to think. Go. 
away. <laughs> Leave me alone. Oh, it's not a church. It's, it's the torture lab. Torture lab. Makes sense. Go through. Alright. Wait, there was a card. What was the card dealer? There was a dude that, um, said he'd give me some cards. Shut up, Siri! <laughs> what did I even say? I just said there's some dude that will give me some cards, and then... Oh, I, no, but I have money. Undiscovered? That's weird, but okay. Um, Let me go from here. It's probably easy to go from here. You know, when Apple did an event this year talking about how, you know, they're launching a bunch of AI products and they're making things smarter, I thought for sure that finally, maybe, <laughs> that's... Ugh. They might get their act together with, um, you know who. I dare not say its name because it might wake up. But clearly that was not the case. I'm just reminding myself where I'm going. Right, okay. I think I need to go to the other underground mines. I don't mind backtracking anyway. Apparently there's like a central part here. Oh, but that's high ground. I guess that makes sense. so bad at targeting the bats. It's one of these rooms up ahead. I think it's the yellow one. Aha! No, this is good. More health. Oh, I think I see. If there's a 
dot, it rep uh, represents it as something that I, I haven't picked up yet. Item-wise. It almost got me killed. I'm fine. Was the room that I'm thinking of. This is it. You can have up to three cards at once. A save point is below this room. Whoa! Okay, what is this? Heart refill, knife card, axe card, holy water card, bible card, rosary card. So each of these... I guess the upgrades. What do we got? Unfortunately, I can't afford that, but that one... Oh, wait, yes, I can. Critical hits, that sounds good. Okay. Summons a familiar to attack enemies. <laughs> that, oh, come on, that's straight out of Hollow, not Hollow Knight, Shovel Knight. I should probably get that next. Um, the unfortunate thing, oh wait, but there's a save point below this room, so it's fine. I was gonna say it requires a save point, but there's one below this room, so we're good. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Ah, there we go. Alright, this is where we're going. Yeah, crits are gonna help. Yeah, that's almost like a Super Metroid thing. That's cool. I like these ideas. Okay, how? Whoa. Uh. Hello, friend. <laughs> Didn't think so. <laughs> How do, I, how do I damage? Okay. This, dude. I can't hit it on its feet. It's got to be like a body shot. Ah, I overshoot the jump. I probably shouldn't waste my heals on this life. I lost quite a bit. Unless I believe I can do it. Oh, this is this is cursed. I'm not Ugh. It looks like he's shooting carrots. Well, that wasn't too bad getting up to that point. Oh. Don't know why, but there's still a couple here. Apparently. There's one specifically here. Stupid 
that. Oh boy. I just can't catch a break. Ugh. All right. It's the best I could do. I thought there'd be consequences. Ah! Oh, it's so hard. I'm trying to hit it, but collide with it. Like, I have to be... Oh, wow, that did a lot. There. This is, this is going better. Spending on the critical was definitely the right move. Dude, the crit. The crit! Please. Oh. God. Okay, hang on. That has to go. Lucky. Okay. Gripping claws slide down walls and grants the ability to wall jump. Press A whilst holding a direction against the wall. All right, cool. Neat. Um, guessing I can't get this. Yeah. Water gravity. <laughs> okay, this is cool. I'm keeping the heal. Alright, so it's not so much a double jump, it's a wall jump. Uh, I probably shouldn't do that, because it's like a one way. Dun, 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 dun. That's gotta be something. Stop. Okay, I'm disappointed. <laughs> that was screaming secret to me. Oh. Okay, that just looped around. Um. Hang on. I should go buy the card that, um. lets me keep money. Thus, I'm gonna go this way. Oh, you can't. Never mind. Alright. Curious what that is. I'll just walk there, it's fine.
<laughs> I hope they don't change this. Ugh. I got a way to climb a wall. I'm curious if, like, at the start, I can get to a high point. Okay, but first, go here. funny that you have to whip him to interact. Um, so we want that one. Allows one chance to obtain money after a death. That's cool. All damage is fatal. <laughs> no, thank you. That's like hard mode. Heart refills. Cool. I mean, it might be a while before I'm back here, so maybe just getting... Just some, some cheap stuff might be a good idea. It is rather generous how many you can equip. Uh, one thing I don't like is this. <laughs> Where it lets you select stuff that's technically undiscovered. Wait, how do you do it? There it is. Oh, the other one wasn't a card, it was just... Okay, never mind. That's fine. Oh boy. Yeah, look. <laughs> Honestly, easier just to do this. Just take the hit, I frame through. Got more to lose. Keep going up. No. Okay. Oh boy, these birds. <laughs> I remember these being a thing. I think these ones are new too. Just making sure there's no like hidden item or something. I'll check the map periodically. Ah, D pad. These enemies! Uh oh, that's not good. Probably a bad idea. I bet it involves an upgrade I don't have yet. Yeah. 
Yep. <laughs> I'm surprised that I, I got through that without taking a hit, really. Keep it in mind. There's probably something that'll let me walk on spikes. Probably not the best idea, but I'll. I'm gonna go with that. Just. Keep moving. That's probably a seeker, right? No, okay. God, how long is this bridge? <laughs> ah. Okay, there's. Ugh, it's so far away. Oh, good. I have to go through this room again. It's just not worth attacking them, like. I'm gonna take one hit and just walk past them. Just, why? If they didn't regenerate, it would probably be a bit more fair. Or took less hits. Any combination of that would work. I think I got it. I have to do a better job at Raven Control. Better job. Control the ravens. Don't move until they're dead. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Ooh, this is brutal. Look so far. But do something. It's okay. The stage, well. This stage in the NES game is just as annoying. They've done it justice. What? Hey! Money bag. Oh, I have to hit it. I have to hit it. Okay, hang on. Hey. I thought it was just collide with it. It's not. Uh, 
Very good. Ah, oh, thank you. Um... Problem is... Well, I guess I have heals now. I should probably grind the heal in this room. I have something for this boss fight. Take it to two more times. at the same point. Okay, which I guess means I got full hearts. You can't aim the whip down? It lied to me. You, could, you can do it if you're jumping. You can't do it like this, which is a bit weird. Ah! Screw <laughs> okay. uh. it. Just go. Oh. What fight is this? This is Frankenstein? Maybe? No, mummy. Okay. Gotcha. Forget the order of this. I think Frankenstein's next. Wait. It doesn't have a health bar. Oh, no, I see what this is. It's multiple of them. Yeah, that's one down. Oh, my God. This is gonna be a wretched fight. Dude. Gotta get one of them down quickly. more fair now. Oh, no it's- NO IT'S NOT! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I'm screwed. Okay, this one's gotta go down. Dude. What is this fight? Okay. Said I'm out of heels. Let's focus on the one. Okay.
おっ<笑>I thought these were flea men. Little dudes that jump around. Okay, well it looks like we're gonna get whatever the answer to this is. Or not. Bridge snapper, destroy thin blocks with an offensive dive move. Oh, that's cool. Alright, that's new. It should be able to damage them if that's the case. Very cool. Alright, only one way to find out. I wonder if they stay permanently destroyed. Um, I think there's stuff I can grab now that I have this in here. Yeah, that's cool. Cool move. to see what I can do. Uh oh, I'm dead. Oh, it's not that. Never mind. I mean, it's, it's forgiving, but at the same time. No, healing herb is great. Love it. It's a great addition, I think. I do like that they have, you know, well-known infamous rooms in, in the game. A uh, slight variation of it. So, I mean, I'll, I'll keep backtracking. When I have a thousand money, I'll go upgrade the laurel. And it feels for even more. I've already got that, I think. Yeah. Yeah. 
really enjoying this so far. Oh, cool. It, yeah. So I can use it to strike things. <laughs> Honestly, like, another one of these cases, the people that are doing the, uh, the franchise the most justice these days aren't the original creators of the franchise. I mean, between this and, um, just the many other games that are spiritual successes to Castlevania. Yeah, it's a cool thing. It's, it's definitely a superhero landing. Um, I wonder if I can do this. Oh, okay. What's the point in that? <laughs> what? This, hmm, weird. I thought there'd be something here. I'm gonna lie, a little disappointed there wasn't. Hang on. I have to check. Inner child screaming at me. There was a ledge where I could couldn't reach. Ah, uh, that's where a heart container was that I already picked up. So it's that's why I, I just didn't bother. What I am curious about. Uh huh. Nice. There's usually something at the top here. It's become a staple of the series, just. At the very start, there's usually something that you are able to access later. Always check the opening room. Interesting. Oh, this just remind <laughs> this just reminds me of Mega Man X. Anyone? Actually, just Xbox D-pad is not the best to do this with. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> is this is this really worth the time? Oh. No, it will absolute, absolutely the answer is yes. I don't know why I was doubting myself. That's just, that's a nod for people that played Mega Man X. But not the hardest one. There was always two jumps in that game that just sucked. One of them was like pretty much exactly like that, and there was another one that involved an even more insane maneuver to get an upgrade that involved like jumping off a wall to the right and then going up a narrow shaft just by narrowly grabbing a ledge. Just 
one of those things. <laughs> you have to be stubborn. Okay, so I guess probably the best way is just to continue onwards. Apparently there's something here. Like, in this room. Hmm. Interesting. Not that. Let's have a close look. Okay, it's not this room. Hang on. Ah. Sweet. Um, approaching the amount I need as well, money-wise. To get the upgrade. No, thank you. Yeah, nice. Oh. No, okay. <laughs> That's, I love this attack. Very good. Wait. Uh, if that's always there... Okay, it is. I'm getting the thousand, and we're getting the upgrade to the Laurel. But I'll only take just a few repeats. I mean, I may as well. I don't know if I'm going to be able to maintain holding about a thousand in money. There's probably a better room to do this in, but this is safe. Safe, consistent, and quick. The 20 bag isn't common. No, exactly. Whilst it's not the biggest quantity, it's still not common. Couple more times. And the best part is like the save room is just over there, so I can warp. Alright, this is it. Love this, love this attack. In some ways, it's honestly easier than the whipping. Oh, okay. I don't care. It's fun. Okay, the Laurel card. Alright, sweet. That's gonna make a huge difference with all the, uh, the magic I have now. And that it heals for two. Oh, um, is this the best thing to do? I guess so. Oh, that's... Okay, that's interesting. It doesn't go through those blocks. I hate these bags. 
it's just, why am I incapable of hitting them? Honestly. Wait, didn't, oh wait, I didn't equip it. Whoops. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, I can hit him more reliably with the slam. Okay, I'm sure there's a save point nearby. Oh, this is this is totally something. Damn. <laughs> really? No. There's got to be something that lets me get that easier. I refuse to believe that's like an even more intense Mega Man X thing. Castlevania have that item that you turn into a bat. Um, I believe three did. Not the original. Um, Symphony of the Night had Alucard's ability able to do that. So it was usually a power reserved for Alucard. Ooh, I don't like this. <laughs> Stop! They hinder. Can't me to remove the webbing. What's a fair point? You think firewood? Maybe it hinders you to the point where you can't use the move. I'm gonna regret not equipping that. Ah, <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay. Um. There we go. Now this heals for two. Yep, yep, on it. Didn't forget. Let's see. Ah, yeah, hang on. Is that a fluke or? No, it does. Good call. Makes sense. You can't wall jump when underwater. Which... I guess it involves grabbing onto a ledge, so that makes perfect sense. Ooh. See, it doesn't one-shot everything, so there is that risk. I can't use it to take out everything. But anything that dies in one hit is certainly worthwhile. The prize doesn't one shot mummies. Well, I mean, maybe not one shot, but at least light him on fire. The thing that I would expect to one-shot mummies would be, like, some holy ability. Oh, 
Oh, I'm gonna hate this, aren't I? Wall Widow. <laughs> Just seeing where this is leading. I think what I've noticed the key to, to a new section is don't go straight for the goal in the new section. Like, you kind of walk back to it and you visit another section before you do that. I, I definitely appreciate how different this is. Whilst, you know, I imagine it's going to have things that diehard fans of the OG aren't going to like, it's still really good. I don't know if it's me that I'm just not used to it, but... Man, do I have problems with the whip. I miss the modern whip that you could just spin in any direction and then it's easier to hit things. Oh, hello. Alright! So... There we go. This is the first example of, um, alternate whip. Interesting. Alright, I'm gonna hit a save point. Because I don't want to do this in one sitting. I'm gonna hit a save point. Like, Castlevania is not exactly a long game. It's just... The duration of it is, um... Well, based on how well you do. But, uh, I want to make sure I have time for Like a Dragon. As fun as I'm having. As much fun as I'm having. I'm not sure how I feel about this whip. It's weird. Eh. Hey. Wall jump. Uh, it doesn't... Okay, there's, you can't wall jump off those blocks. Okay, uh, I'll go back to the previous save point then. Yeah, this is, this is really good. Good for certain enemies. 
Like these ones. Okay, we'll go back to the bottom of Castle Courtyard. But I was right. Seems to be this thing that you just kind of ignore the area that you're trying to do and then go elsewhere and then come back. Good. Alright. Well. I think that's a good initial session of this. Again, I don't want to do this in one sitting. Um, but this is really good. It goes in line with those fan game remakes that, um... Well, I guess there's, there wasn't anything really too wrong with the original Castlevania. Um, other than the final fight. It did things very different. It's breathing a new breath of life into this game, so I appreciate it. We'll uh, do more of it next time, and uh, I'll see if I can make an effort to finish it. The game's not very long in general, but who knows? They might have added more content. So, hope you enjoyed this initial part of Castlevania Revamped. If you're checking this out later as a replay, and you had fun and want to support the channel, just you can do things like click the like button, and that'll help the channel. So yeah, thanks for tuning in.